Hey YouTube! So today I thought I would step away from my school books for a little bit and record a short video. And in this video I want to discuss a question that I've had recently and that I've seen on a few bike forums. And that question is whether or not the new SRAM 22 Yaa front derailers will work on the older SRAM 10 speed Grupos. Um, on my bike currently I have a SRAM Force mixed with SRAM Rival uh, 10 speed Grupo and uh, I recently replaced um, my SRAM Rival 10 speed front derailleur with uh, the brand new SRAM Force 22 Yaw front derailleur. So I just want to talk about that for a little bit. Um, first I'll give you the short answer to the question of whether it'll work or not and the answer is yes it works and it does work quite well. Um, so some of the current concerns I had when I before I pulled the trigger um, on this derailleur was that the cage would be too narrow um, to effectively clean out all the chain rub um, because I uh, was aware that the SRAM 11 speed chains are narrower than the uh, 10 speed chains. Um, but actually the cage on this uh, derailleur is about a millimeter wider than my old SRAM rival 10 speed derailleur's cage. So it is plenty wide to accommodate a 10 speed chain. Um, and uh, once set up properly, it does work quite well. Um, so briefly, I want to talk about the setup. The setup was a huge pain. Um, the this was the most difficult setup of a front derailleur I've ever I've ever set up, <laughs> and uh, it took me probably about two and a half hours to uh, get it to a point where I was happy. Um, so it is a big pain, and part of that is uh, just because of how it works. Uh, it, it works very differently from any derailleur that I've been accustomed to in the past and that's just the traditional front derailleur that moves um, back and forth. Um, now these yaw derailleurs add in one uh, other range of motion and that's when they when they move back and forth they also pivot side to side to clean out the chain rub um, in all your gear combinations. So the alignment in getting these set up properly is very difficult. Um, I did find some YouTube videos helpful that showed uh, how to set these up. Uh, one particularly was a YouTube video by Glory Cycles that uh, used a penny trick to get the spacing just right between the teeth and the cage. And uh, that was the trick that finally helped me get the, uh, get the settings on this just right. Um, if it didn't take me so long to get it set up, I would be willing to upload a video on... Uh, how to get them set up, but I uh, honestly don't want to undo this and spend another two and a half hours getting it back to <laughs> getting it back to how I have it now. So, um, just to talk about the setup here a little bit, um, I can run pretty much all of the gear combinations with this new derailleur uh, clean with with no rub. Um, when running uh, the gears in the uh, big. Uh, big cog on the cassette to the small ring in the front. Um, it is close enough that it, uh, every once in a while when the chain bumps a little bit it does uh, swing over uh, and uh, bump the cage and you can hear that a little bit but it's not at all rubbing um, by any means. Um, and uh, in the uh, big uh, big cog in the back, big ring in the front, I get uh, zero rub. I get zero rub on the big uh, ring in the front and the small cog in the back and I get uh, a tiny bit of uh, I don't even know if I'd call it rub when I'm running the small small combo I get uh, it as well as every once in a while the chain will bump and hit the uh, outer cage of the rear derailleur but it's absolutely nothing like uh, what would happen if I tried to run those combinations with my old 10 speed front derailleur um, on that derailleur, I had the run trim to get the uh, largest uh, cogs on the cassette, the largest three cogs on the cassette, to run smoothly with my big ring. And I uh, could run the small ring uh, down to about uh, cog six uh, from, the, from the top of the cassette uh, in the back before I would get uh, rub on the last four uh, um, on the last four cogs and uh, it was a fairly substantial amount of rub so uh, it's a huge upgrade as far as performance of uh, 
being able to use uh, your your options uh, on the the gears of your bike. So I highly recommend that uh, you, uh, for those of you running SRAM 10 speeds groups, to switch to one of these Yaw front derailers. Even if it's just the, I, I think you can get the SRAM Rival. They, I know they just released the SRAM Rival Yaw 22 speed front derailleur. I think it's only like $30. Um, but it is a big, big performance upgrade. Um, so now maybe I will go ahead and try and show you some of these gear combinations. I don't know how it's gonna, how well it's gonna work here recording this on my phone. Um, so I am going to pause the video here real quick, set it up in a way that I can uh, try and show show you guys how it works. Okay, again, I don't know how well this will work, but I'm gonna try to show you all uh, four extreme positions of the chain. Um, first, I'm going to show you the big cog in the back to the small ring in the front. As you can see, or if, I don't know if you can hear, but I'm just getting a tiny bit of bounce every now and again on the, on the um, inside of the cage with the chain, but it's not really rubbing at all. Um, when I shift into the big ring, it runs clean, absolutely no rub at all. And I'll bring it down to the small cog in the back. Absolutely no rub again, it's running clean. And now I'll switch the front derailleur back down, drop it into the small ring. So I'll be running small cog, small ring combo. I don't know if you can even hear that, but every once in a while, the chain will bump the uh, inside of the cage on the front, but it's pretty much running clean. Much, uh, much better uh, gear combos than I was able to get out of the old derailleur. All right, so hopefully that demonstration worked and you guys were able to uh, get a good demonstration um, on how this works. Um, if I were to spend even more time tweaking uh, the derailleur just a little bit here and there, I might be able to even clean out uh, some of that uh, bounce that I get um, on the uh, uh, big cog small ring combo. Um, but uh, if I didn't address any of the questions that you guys had about this uh, setup, go ahead and leave those in the comments below and I'll try to get to those. Um, Thank you uh, for those of you who've subscribed to my channel, and uh, for those of you who haven't, um, with my channel I just try to upload a cycling video every month or so um, on uh, something that uh, I'm interested in at the time or something that I've done. Um, so I'd uh, invite you to subscribe. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my video, and uh, have a great day.